Hi, I'm Dustin Klein, some guy on the internet. Summer writing season is coming to a close, which for most of us means colder weather with adverse writing conditions that make cycling difficult, dangerous, and downright miserable. How am I gonna ride my bike with all this crappy weather? But there is a solution. And since this week's video is brought to you by competitive cyclists, it felt like the perfect time to go over an indoor trainer setup so that you can come out of winter stronger than you went into winter. Let's do this. Why a trainer setup? Because riding in freezing weather sucks. Do I have to explain this? They're perfect for keeping up fitness through the off season. Wait, it does what? You can do group rides and races with people from all over the world with apps like Zwift. From the comfort of your own home. It's like Zoom for bicycles. There's dolphins. It's amazing. It's safe. You'll never get hit by a car while you're riding your trainer. I guarantee it. Our focus group showed that people hate getting hit. Isn't that amazing? And my personal favorite is it condenses time. No more cleaning your bike, no junk miles. You can be off the bike and in the shower within moments of ending your ride. It's basically a life hack. I love life hacks. Okay, I'm in. What do I need? At a minimum, all you'll need is a little bit of space, a bike, and a trainer. I like to use my road bike because I don't really use it in the winter. In fact, I don't use it in the winter. 100% it just does not get used. Okay, next, the trainer. There's a lot of different options here. On the low end, there's resistance trainers, which will eat up your tire and you can't necessarily change resistance while you're riding. And many of them don't work with apps like Zwift or Trainer Road, but they do work and a good option if you're curious about the trainer experience. Do you dabble? Next category up is a smart trainer. These have all the features, from resistance that interacts with the ride, to power meters, to cadence sensors, and it connects everything wirelessly. They keep getting smarter and smarter. Hey trainer, what time is it? It's go time. From my experience, a smart trainer is hands down the way to go. And if you're on the fence, think about how many hours you'll spend on this thing, and it might make sense to elevate that experience. Plus, these things last for years. I don't, I don't think you could wear one out. How would you wear that out? Oh, and they're quiet. They're not loud anymore. They used to be loud, That they fixed that. You hear that? Yeah, <laughs> me either. If your resources don't allow it, you will be satiated with just a resistance trainer. At its core, this is the most basic setup. Add in something like Zwift and you are set to keep your fitness and sanity in check this off season. I think the off season just turned into on season. But there are a few things we can add to make this experience that much better. If you're using something like Zwift, you're gonna need a place to put your iPad, laptop, or monitor. I encourage you to use what you have lying around the house. But this Wahoo desk works really good. I mean, it was designed for this. Convenience, check. Further down the rabbit hole, the next thing to consider is a fan of some kind. You're gonna turn into a wet, hot, sweaty mess. That means you're doing it right. Air circulation is key. Don't forget a towel. You're definitely gonna need a towel. And why one of those floor mats is really helpful because it, it gets everywhere. Any regular fan works great. Remember, use what you've got. But this Wahoo Kicker Headwind is insane. It wirelessly connects to your speed or heart rate. So the more intense you go, the more the fan blows. How cool is that? You can also just use it as a fan too. Now this is a pretty dialed setup, I must say. That looks good. There's one more thing we could add to take this to the next level. Oh, I see what you did there. While this is not completely necessary, this is pretty cool. The Kicker Climb wirelessly connects to apps like Zwift and automatically adjusts up and down depending on the grade of the terrain that you're riding in the app. Now we're talking full immersion VR interactive type stuff. If you already have a smart trainer as part of your off-season routine, I think things like the headwind and the climb can be a way to spice up your current trainer setup. Sometimes you just need a little something, a little something extra. Add in a little ride nutrition and post-ride recovery, and you've got yourself one killer training dojo to keep your body in shape so you can take on any holiday feast and come out of winter stronger than you went in. And on a personal note, I wanna say I have the utmost respect for your dedication to cycling. Cycling makes your life better, and that makes the world a better place to be in. So from me to you, thank you. If you've got any tips or advice for setting up a trainer studio, let me know down below. 
And shout out to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this week's video. Good looking out, CC. I put a link to all this stuff down below if you'd like to dig a little deeper. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And check out the EBD Gear Shop, the greatest place on the internet. Until next time, dear friend, this is Dustin Klein signing off. I'm actually, actually, I'm just gonna ride this trainer for a while. It's here the whole time. You didn't even know it was right here, did you? Yeah, I've been wearing cycling shoes this whole time.